So I'm going to step over this, which means I'm going to perform this statement. And now it put some value into this variable. What value did it put? Well, a lot of times what I've seen is tutorials will have you write some kind of a message box or print statement to convey that value. And now is the perfect time for me to show you another debugging pane that will make your guys' life much easier. Check it out. I open up the watch window. I come here. I do my control T to add it to the watch. Look at this. Its value is three. It's also going to be stored in the local variables. As you guys see it over here, int row count. It's stored in there. But if you want to watch something else, you can come over here and check it out. And its value is three. So now you guys know that the statement got us a row count of three. Is that right? Well, let's look. In our global, we have only three rows filled. That seems right to me. Cool. So now you guys see how dynamically we got that row count, whether there's going to be five rows, a hundred rows, or zero rows. This will always return that. And now to iterate through the spreadsheet and do something to it, we just always utilize this for loop that starts at the first row and it's going to go until whatever this value is right and in our case it's three so we're going to step in here and now it's going to set the current row let me remove this cursor watch what happens to the data table boom did you see how that became black now the data table is on this row so if i step in again it's going to print some value in the first row in the column test so what do you guys think it's going to print out good job smarty pants row one let's move on to the next one now it's going to set the current row again let's look at the data table look where it's highlighted over row two now it can do what print the value in what's the current row you guys know add this to watch it's two so it's gonna print from row two column test so let me step over this print row two next one row three you guys see that very useful not a lot of people teach us how to iterate through the data table how to get the row count how to set the row count I'm sorry, set the current row, and then do whatever you want with those values. We didn't have to print them. We can store these values in a variable and then utilize them. We can use them for calculations. We can use them for filling in forms. We can easily have first and last names in there, and we can use that to work on our application through automated tests. So I think that's pretty much for the everything you need to know for the data table, just to get started. If you ever had any questions, all you have to do is, let me remove this breakpoint. Any of these methods, like get row count, and you wanna know how it works, just put your cursor over it, hit F1, and UFT is going to pull up a nice help menu for you guys. And here, they talk about everything. Check it out, here's the data table object. It will describe to you guys the data table object, Check it out, associated methods and properties. You can learn all about those. You can click on them, like export method, and it will tell you how it works, what to pass in, an example, just like that. You want to look at a global sheet property? Check it out, guys. Something like that, okay? So anytime you need help, it's there available for you. I spent, I don't know how many hours when I was initially starting it with QTP, sitting and reading from this thing to figure out how to make QTP work. And I think UFT has actually made their documentation a lot better. Before it used to be extremely crazy, but now it seems a little bit more organized.